Humans have lived on planet Earth forever. Well, today's the day I move every human to Mars. What could go wrong? What is going on, TFG squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Cell to Singularity. So last episode, I created AI that was smarter than humans. So now we have to leave Earth and go to Mars. It's the only thing that makes sense. So let's jump right in. Last time, we were very close to inventing the rover. And I think I actually have enough, so let's just do it. I... What was that sound? Okay. I put a rover on Mars. Okay, that is something that humans have done in real life before. So, so far, we have not made it to Mars. But that's a great first step. Wow. Okay, uh, Mars is a little more orange than I remember. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit. I want to go back down to the biological side. So, if I go all the way down here, you get to humans. I have 88 humans, and I think I need 100 to unlock whatever this big circle is right here. That's the next species beyond humans. I don't know what the next species beyond humans is gonna be. Yeah, I need 1.95 quintillion just to get to 89. Well, we're gonna come back to that. Let's go back to the information age. So we left off in the emergence age. So I have just invented virtual reality. So anybody that likes playing Beat Saber, you could thank me because I just invented it. Self-driving cars. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. And biotech. What is biotech? We've been augmenting ourselves with tools for as long as we've had thumbs. Now, we can alter everyone's bodies. Oh, okay, that sounds dangerous, but that's okay. Uh, mind upload? What is that? A mind can be saved, copied, pasted. Memories can be inserted, removed, created. Consciousness has been quantified. Oh. Okay, I don't like the direction I'm going right now. I, I feel like I am on a quick path to just wiping out all of mankind and having Earth run by robots. If you guys want to see more of this game, definitely let me know in the comments. Okay, let's go back to the space missions. I'm going to come back here, but the artificial intelligence stuff is kind of freaking me out. I think this is where we go to eventually move to Mars. So what's this? Ice deposits? What is that? All water on uninhabited Mars consists of ice. Okay, so I guess maybe we can harness that ice and turn it into water so we have drinking water if we move to Mars. That seems important. Olympus Mons. I'm pretty sure that's like the biggest mountain in Mars, right? Two and a half times taller than Mount Everest. Wow. Okay, that's that's actually kind of tall. Uh, maybe if I move to Mars, I can make a YouTube video hiking to the top of Olympus Mons. Sounds kind of dangerous when you put it that way. International Space Station. Wait, I haven't invented this yet. Oh, that is expensive. 355 quadrillion? I don't even have that much. Holy jeez. All right, well, I'm going to have to come back to the International Space Station. It seems a little dangerous to move to Mars without having the <laughs> International Space Station, but you know what? I will not argue with that. Let's do this one. Uh, interplanetary Space Flight. Uh, and it boosts the rover 400%. Machines were only the first step. The next phase in exploration of Mars is sending human astronauts to the red planet. Okay. So we are now sending astronauts to Mars. How do I unlock the next thing? Oh, you know what? I probably need to get more of these rovers. Right now, I only have two. Let's go up to 10. Oh, it's already unlocking new stuff. Okay. Magnetic research. What is this? The first rovers and probes ret retrieve information. Okay, so we're getting information back about Mars. Oh, little power up. Power up. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so we're getting more information about Mars. That seems important. And then atmospheric research. Bam. Oh my gosh, we're getting closer and closer. You know what? I'm going to go back to the dinosaurs. I just want to see what's going on on the Mesozoic Valley, and then we're going to come back to Mars. So I played a little bit off camera for the dinosaur area, and I invented a new dinosaur. It's called the Therapodo. I'm just going to call him the mean-looking dinosaur with two mohawks. That's that's his name. Uh, so, so we're working on that guy. Right now, I need to upgrade to the next level. I want to invent... A T-Rex. My goal is to invent a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let me know in the comments if they even have T-Rexes in this game. I would kind of hope so, because they're like the coolest dinosaur. Okay, let's get a couple more of these Stegosauruses. Do I have enough? Uh, wait, what? Am I... Oh, no, 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 not the Stegosaurus. I needed the the, the, the Ornithoscia majigger thing. Okay, I need seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I can unlock this Geotoad and get more mutagen. Okay, perfect. I like how one of the upgrades is to just take a picture of the Serapodo, which I think are these guys right here. So I'm just gonna, huh? 
Okay, and now if I leave, did I- I did! Okay, that was the- that was the easiest achievement ever. Thank you, game. I just want to go back to the dancing dinosaur. I don't really know exactly what this dude does, but he actually kind of looks like a T-Rex with a bow tie. And he really likes dancing, okay? Um, uh, okay, let's go back. Enough, enough dancing dinosaurs. Okay, I got 45 of the sauropodas, which is going to give me more mutagen. I must have a lot of mutagen. I have 520 things of mutagen right now, and I'm really close on the Pleosaur, too, so I need six more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm getting really low. Oh, geez, I only have 214. All right, let me click my phone screen. This is kind of the name of the game until I get to 300. Okay, it took forever, but I got to 500, so let's get another one of the Pleosaurs. Let's open the Geotide. I got more mutagen. I just want to get to the point where I wipe out the dinosaurs with another asteroid. It would be like the 14th time. Oh, you know what I just learned? Uh, just ignore the dancing dinosaur here. Over here on the left, I think that's the food chain. I, I can't really zoom into it that well. What if I just click? Okay, so this is the current food chain with all of the dinosaurs that I've currently invented. So I think as I invent more dinosaurs, maybe some of them get stronger and stronger. Okay, I decided this was taking too long, so I'm doing the time warp thing again. All right, now I have 22 trillion. That should be enough. So let's upgrade the Archosaur until I get to 198. Let's collect the mutagen. And now I have two more dinosaurs before we wipe them out with, like, the uh, 9,000th asteroid. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, beautiful. Now that I got a copyright strike. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's open the geotide. Let's collect the mutagen. And I'm sorry, dinosaurs, but I'm about to wipe you out for, like, like I said, the 8,000th time. Okay. Oh. Oh. Who would have known you had to hit dinosaurs with an asteroid to have them, you know, evolve? Okay, I'm gonna go back to moving humans to Mars, but I think I invented a new dinosaur. I did! The Composinogonus. That's what I'm gonna call it. I, I don't think I pronounced that right. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, that is a fairly pathetic looking dinosaur. It basically looks like a giant chicken. Oh my gosh, I want to invent the T-Rex. And I invented a, a, a giant walking chicken nugget. Let's go back to moving humans to Mars. Okay, do I now have enough to invent one more human? Uh, no, I'm literally not even close. I need 1.95 quintillion. I don't know how I'm going to get to 100 humans. That's going to take a long time. But we're not worried about that for now. We're worried about moving to Mars. Actually, before we go to Mars, uh, mind uploading. See, that's the one that's really scaring me. Uploading, like, I have a, I have a, a external hard drive here. I can plug this in my ear, and all of a sudden, all of my memories are public knowledge. That's actually kind of creepy to think about. But let's do it, okay? Okay. Oh, here it is. The human mind can be saved, copied, uploaded to the cloud. Memories can be inserted and removed. See the removed thing, too. Like, all of a sudden, one of you guys is gonna break into my house, and all of a sudden, I don't even know my name. You removed the memory of my name from my head. I'm gonna walk around and just be like, Hey, everybody, my name is... Um... I don't know. It's gonna be horrible. The human body is obsolete, and consciousness can be quantified. What can... Oh, my gosh. I mean, the fact that they're talking about humans being obsolete kind of freaking me out over here. So, you guys told me don't click on singularity because it's gonna wipe out everything, and then I guess I can start back over. So we're not gonna do Singularity today. I might do that in a future video, but let's go back to traveling to Mars. Uh, solar-powered? Yeah, that's important. Uh, cargo missions. Ooh, this is getting expensive. So let's see this. We'll need to send supplies ahead of our manned mission to Mars. Okay, so we need to actually send the supplies we need before we get there. I, I guess that's pretty important if we want to go to Mars. Ooh, power up. I always take the power ups. Let's get it. Human expedition. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is expensive. 924 quadrillion? Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to do the time warp and spend a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Every time I do the time warp, I only get 12 quadrillion. And I need to get to 924 quadrillion. I'm going to have to spend like $100 if I want to do this right now. Oh, okay. I just spent a ton of time and a ton of money to keep doing the time warp, but I think I finally have enough. 923. All right, one more time warp. 
The good thing is I've actually gotten a lot of entropy too. I also call them little jimmies. So if I go down really quickly, I should be able to get a couple more humans. I'm at 89, Shalom. 90, uh, <laughs> all of that. And I literally got one more human. All right, well, I'm 10 humans away from moving on to whatever the next species is. But let's go to international space travel or human expedition. Let's just see what this says. For the first time, humans travel to another planet. We are now officially an interplanetary species. Here we go! Oh, man. Oh, man. Human expedition. We are traveling to Mars, guys. This is so fun. I love this game so much. There's our spacecraft. You can finally see our spacecraft on Mars. Oh, this is great. All right, so now let's do... Oh, these are expensive. Do I have enough for the, uh, the International Space Station yet? No, not yet. But what if I do a time warp? Oh, now I'm getting a ton for the time warps. Okay, now I have enough to invent the International Space Station, which I know that gives me a good boost. What does it say? Launched in 1998, the International Space Station is a vessel orbiting Earth where astronauts from all over the world can work together to study and learn about space. Okay, wow, that was invented in 1998. I was actually alive for that. Okay, so it looks like the next step is kind of terraforming Mars. So you can see Martian mining, cyanobacteria. So we're going to start building our entire civilization on Mars. But then I see this next big circle right here. I'm wondering if maybe we're going to travel to a new solar system. I'm going to end it there. I will definitely be back. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscriber button. And check out my other YouTube channel, guys. It's called TFG Vlogs. And I will see all of you in the next video.